Good morning, guys. Um, we're doing a tutorial on lettering today. Uh, I'm finishing up this mural on a place called Cascades Grove here in Tallahassee. And what I'm doing is putting a drop shadow behind these letters. Now, um, I use acrylic. Uh, it's a very humid day today. So I'm dealing with a lot of humidity. My brush loading, which normally, um, you can load up your brush with enough paint to do an entire letter without having to re-dip your brush. But in this case today, it's a very humid day, so um, the paint is running. When I did my first letter over there, the first C, I ended up with some issues of dripping and running. Um, you can see here, it's very, very loose. Um, it's the humidity in the air. It gets into the paint and it, it makes it where, you know, the, the watering down of your paint is different depending on the conditions outside. It's different every time. So it's one of the things about painting outside and painting murals. Weather is a big factor, more so than I ever realized it would be when I first um, set out to do these for a living. Um, I found out the hard way, and these are only things you find out through experience, that, um, that the weather affects the paint quite a bit. So what I'm doing is putting this shadow. When you put dark behind light, uh, what that does is it, it brings it out to the eye. It makes it pop and stand out a little better. So that's what I'm doing is this and a few other details on this. I don't like to leave things looking unfinished. So that's what I'm doing today. And it's a very humid day here. Uh, this morning it was foggy. Um, you can see there's still kind of a haze in the air. The sun's not really coming out. Um, so it's a, it's a challenging day, but that's okay because this is just the end of this. And I have enough paint on this brush to do an entire letter. But like I said, loading of the paint is um, a bit of an issue. I'm gonna uh, move my ladder. So, all right. I'm doing about an inch step off on this. Um, I just want it to be enough to enhance the letter and bring it out to the eye. So when you step back, I found when I letter that a, a, a medium color, and by medium I mean like nothing too light or dark. Uh, the blue on this is like an aqua blue. I mixed it myself, I mixed all my own colors. And what I did on this was I painted like a medium value aqua blue on it. And then, um, the letter is obviously in white. The reverse is, uh, th the idea with a sign is you want to have maximum visibility, ideally, because it has to be read by people. So that was the goal, was maximum visibility. And, oops, sorry, I'm dropping the camera out of view there. I'm holding this because I had a stand that I was using with the camera and uh, I left the stand at a job somewhere, I don't know where, and lost it. So my wife, wonderful wife Kelly is ordering me another one, but in the meantime when I do post these videos I have to, uh, I have to hold my, my camera. So. Okay, now I'm being very careful with how I'm loading this brush today because of the humidity. So what I would normally, I'd load enough on to last an entire letter, but in this case, I'm not. I'm, I'm getting a lot of excess off of the brush because I don't want it to drip. <laughs> it's black and I don't have any more touch up of this aqua blue. So if this drips on us, then I am stuck with that until I can match the color and fix it. And that's very time consuming and a pain in the butt. So. I'm being very careful with my brush loading. 
the humidity thins the paint. It's very, very thin today. Normally, I don't have an issue. I can judge the, but based on the weather, when I get out here in the morning, I can feel what the weather's like, and I know instinctively uh, how much to load my brush and how much to thin my paint because I've been doing it for a lot of years. But this morning caught me off guard a little because it was very humid and foggy and the paint just soaked up that moisture and it, got, it ended up being about twice as thin as, uh, as I wanted it to be, so that's okay. Um, you're never, you never learn enough in this business. No matter how long, how many years you do it, inevitably you're gonna find something that you haven't done before. Um, that's just the nature of the business. Luckily with this one, I'm doing another mural over, there, over at Railroad Square Art Park. Um, the owners there were kind enough to hire me to do that one too. So, um, but it's on corrugated aluminum. And corrugation is very tricky because it's not a flat surface and you're dealing with something like lettering which has to look straight and even. So when you get on corrugation, you have to, to make the thickness of the letter different depending upon how far away from the eye it is. In this case, it's about a two inch corrugation, which is a lot. So I have to make my letters thinner on the inside of the corrugation, or I'm sorry, wider on the inside of the corrugation and thinner on the outside of the corrugation so that when you step back and view the letters at a distance, it appears as though they're the same width. It appears to the eye as though they're the same width. And that is just, there's no set formula for that. I mean, I'm sure there may be a mathematical equation that you can do to figure out the, the thicknesses, but I just do it by eye um, because it's not the same. You, you, there's dents in the building and in the wall and divots and things that make it more difficult than it needs to be. So, all right, we're gonna load up a little more. Like I said, I'm erring on the side of caution with how I thin this because I do not want to end up with a mess. So I'm doing a light brush load. It's called brush loading when you load your paint up, your lettering brush. I love to letter. Um, I started when I was about 13 and um, I have a love of type fonts and painting letters. And so signs, I had a sign shop for about eight years in Ohio. And then with the advent of vinyl and computer letters, what I do kind of, you know, how do you compete with a computer that can cut a perfect letter every time? The benefit for me though, is computers can't do this sort of thing. Um, you can't put a, a vinyl letter on, okay, there's an example of what I was talking about. Luckily, I do have some white paint, so I can cover that up. Whoops. The other downside to this is it's going to take this forever to dry. So that's what I'm doing today. There's my tutorial. I'm going to use both hands, so I'm going to put this down for a bit. Um, but I'll get back and do another one today. But this is my Cascades Grove mural. These are apartment buildings here in downtown Tallahassee. It's a really nice up and coming area. That's a Florida bar across the street. Um, it's a really beautiful spot. So I'll get back and do another video um, and post it later on. All right, guys, have a good day.